Who do you have as the AL MVP? My American League MVP is a newcomer to the American League from the National League the year mm -hmm. prior. I'm going Juan Soto. I really do think he has a great year. I think for the first time in his career, he hits 40 home runs and tacks two more onto that. So I have him hitting 42 homers, okay. hitting 302 with 123 RBIs. I, 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 he's going to have a big year. People... People think Juan Soto has had a couple of down years from what we saw early on in his career. The guy, in my opinion, just takes too many walks. That's I just think he okay. I think he should swing the bat more. I think he's going to do that this year in front of Aaron Judge. Yeah. I think that's a great place for him to hit in that lineup. Why, you ask? Because he's going to get more to hit in every lineup he's been in. I don't care if he was with the Nationals when they won a World Series. I don't care if he was with the Padres where they had a great offense as well. He has not had protection in the lineup mm -hmm. like Aaron Judge. So he's going to get more to hit this year. I think he's going to do more damage offensively in terms of driving balls into the gaps and driving balls over the wall, and specifically that short porch there in right field. When Juan Soto misses a ball but still, still hits, I, I mean misses, like he has a lot of power to all fields. But his miss is almost from the left side of the plate a hook down the right field line. Those balls are getting out of Yankee Stadium. Yeah. He could he could miss hit some baseballs that get out this year. I think he has a huge year. I'm going Juan Soto as my American League MVP. Okay, who do you have as your American League Cy Young winner? All right, my American League Cy Young winner, I am going Tarek Skubal of the Detroit Tigers. I love the guy. I know you I do. I am high on this guy. I know you do. I've got him going 12 and five. Again, wins, losses, who really cares? I got the Tigers being a 500 I mean, team last year or this stats year. Stats to win the Cy Young, yeah. Not win loss record. That's the old. That, the Tigers aren't going to be the best team in baseball, but Definitely Terry Scoobal is going to be the best pitcher in the American <laughs> League with a 2.91 ERA. He's going to punch out 248 guys. Look, in spring training, Scoobal was throwing 100 miles an hour from the left side. Mm -hmm. That plays. Yep. That plays really well in this league. We'll take that. We'll take that for the Tigers. Go, Tigers. 500 team this year. Woo! Scoobal, <laughs> AL side. Okay, let's wrap it up. Who's going to be your AL Rookie of the Year? All right, AL Rookie of the Year is a guy that many of you know if you mm -hmm. watch the World Series, if you watch the playoffs, if you're a fan of the Rangers. Mm -hmm. I'm going Evan Carter. First full season in baseball. He had a really, really good year last year once he came up. Very limited time. I'm really excited for a full season of Evan Carter. I think he's going to hit around 300. I got him hitting 289. He's not a huge power guy, mm -hmm. uh, but I think he can flirt with 20 homers. I got him hitting okay. 289 with 17 homers and 88 RBIs is my prediction for Evan Carter this year, which I think is going to be good enough to win AL Rookie of the Year. Let's move on to the National League Awards, starting with your NL MVP. Who's it going to be? All right, my NL MVP. Woo! I'm going to take Fernando I like Tatis. This. Junior, I think he hits 289. Wow, I went 289. Yeah, with you both did. Of my MV. Nope. nope. Uh, rookie, rookie of the year and then MVP. It was I got Tatis hitting 289 with 49 homers. I think he gets real close to that 50 mark. Mm. I think he drives in 116 runs. I think we were seeing Fernando Tatis break out, and then he got that suspension yep. due to the illegal substances, and then it just kind of derailed his progression. And then he had last year where he was kind of hit or miss at times. This will be the year that Fernando Tatis puts together all that potential. And I say wins his first NL MVP award. Nice. Thank you. I like that. I'm a, I'm a Tatis fan, so yeah. wouldn't be mad at it. The dude's okay. an entertainer. If you haven't seen Tatis yeah. play baseball. In real life, go, go watch him. Just dance, yeah. dance around the outfield. Okay, let's get to your NL Cy Young. Who do you have? I think the Cy Young in the NL this year is going to be Spencer Strider. And I think we were really close to that last year. I think his ERA was just a little too high to win it last year. But I think he goes 20 and 6. I think he has an ERA of 3.18. Mm -hmm. And I think he strikes out 295 wow. guys this year. I think he gets close to that 300 mark. The guy added a new pitch. He was really just hard fastball. Really good slider. He added a curveball to his mix that, by all accounts, we just had Michael Harris on the show recently, said, I haven't faced his curveball, but I can see it from center field. Yeah. It is nasty. And you've seen overlays of it online. I mean, it looks like a really good pitch for a pitcher that already broke Randy Johnson's strikeout record uh, for his first year in the league. So pretty good. 
I'm going to take Pretty Spencer good. Strider to win the Cy Young Award this year. Okay, who do you have as your National League Rookie of the Year? All right, lastly, for my award picks, my NL Rookie of the Year, I'm going Jackson Merrill. We saw him in the Soul Series. Mm -hmm. Going to hit 281 this year, 21 homers, 88 RBIs. I just love his approach. Yeah. I love everything about this guy. I love that he was drafted high as a shortstop. I love that he's playing center field because the team has a – Platinum glove winner at shortstop. They have a lot I, of shortstops. I love that he is willing to move out there. I love that he committed to it this offseason. I love how good his approach is at the plate. He has an approach at the plate of a 10-year veteran. Mm -hmm. And he's a rookie this year. He made the team out of camp because of the spring he had. And then just watching him in Seoul. Honestly, I thought um, game two out there, he was phenomenal. He didn't get a hit in game one. And every at bat, I thought he had a really good approach, was hitting balls hard. This Padres lineup is so much deeper because you can plug him there at the back end of the lineup. I like him a lot. I think he's very productive for this team, uh, and I think he walks away with the NL Cy uh, NL, hopefully not Cy Young. Yeah. Well, that would be cool, but the NL rookie. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.